Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going to talk about five things you need to consider before getting Swiss Tracks flooring. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have your back. Just a friendly reminder, I'm giving away over $3,700 of tools in the next four months. So be sure you check out the link down below so you can see how to enter. But it's pretty simple. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. That's one entry. If you want multiple entries, head to gastax.com. You can pick up product, merch, funny merch, and every dollar you spend gets you three entries to the giveaway. So let's jump into Swiss Tracks flooring. So so first thing to consider is Swiss Tracks is actually the brand of the company. That's the brand name. That's not the product that I'm sitting on. Now I'm going to read from a list what these actually are because I don't know all the names. So the first one is Rib Tracks. That is the main one everyone refers to as Swiss Tracks. Rib Tracks is what is in my garage. Then there is Rib Tracks Smooth, Diamond Tracks Home, Diamond Tracks Flex, Vinyl Tracks Pro, Graphic Tracks, and then finally Logo Tracks. So now that you know there are a bunch more different products that Swiss Tracks makes as a brand, be sure you go to their website and check out which one would interest you. Now second on the list, we're going to be talking about the Swiss Track system. Very simple. The towel is 15 and 3 quarters wide by 15 and 3 quarters long. So it's a nice square. Two sides of it have these connectors and then two sides are flat. Now the reason I bring that up is because that is going to help you figure out how to lay them out in your garage and save you time and money once you know that. Now, for example, in my garage, I put the flat side all the way against the wall and I was able to end the rigid side right at the garage door. That means I don't have any cutting to do in my garage. Now, if you planned it the other way around, you would have to cut off all these little nipples in order to make it fit. Now, once you know that and you want an end piece, there are two different end pieces, one without the nipples and one with the nipples. I also have nipples in case you're wondering. <laughs> So before you place your order on Swiss Tracks, go to SwissTracks.com and there is actually a Swiss Tracks builder that can help you lay out the design of your garage. Then keep in mind which side you want those nipples, inside, outside, however you want them to be. There's no discrimination on nipple choice. Now third on the list, driving on Swiss Tracks takes some getting used to. You see my garage, I have to turn 90 degrees to pull into my garage. The first time I did that, I actually ripped up all of my Swiss track. Now the reason that happens is twofold. When you're turning, there's pressure on your tires that actually pull and slide up the Swiss tracks, which is not good. And then also because the Swiss tracks is just floating on the ground, there's nothing attaching it to the ground. Things you've got to learn about Swiss tracks. If your lift is not bolted to the ground and you're trying to back off your lift, the lift will slide on Swiss tracks. If you're trying to pull forward, and your rear tires on the Swiss tracks, and <laughs> they spin, it rips everything out. So, still learning, living and learning, and trying to understand this. I've always hated Swiss tracks. They look great, but do they actually function for people that work on their cars? I'll find out soon enough. Now, it's been six months since I installed the flooring and that hasn't happened again. Now I have to pull into my garage slower. I guess that's a good thing, but it's always something to keep in mind because when I first did that, I thought, oh my God, I just wasted all this money on my Swiss Tracks flooring. Now, fourth on the list, I'm going to be honest, I was very against Swiss Track flooring. As you can see, I have a lift, I work on my car, and I didn't want to lose nuts and bolts and everything on the actual Swiss Tracks. But, you know, I do run into that. People say bolts and nuts don't go through there. Yeah, they don't, but all the washers that you use do go through there, which is a pain in the butt. One benefit which outweighs all of the cons is that all the dust, every time I open up my garage, the dust from outside blows inside. 
I constantly found myself using a leaf blower, blowing all of that stuff outside and it drives me insane. Then everything in the garage gets dusty. All that dust still comes in, but it settles in between the Swiss tracks, making it that I don't actually see it and also making it less dusty in the garage. Now that doesn't solve the fact that the dust is still in the garage, but once a year or so I'm going to have to remove the Swiss tracks flooring and just clean out that dirt. I'm going to put a link down below for Swiss tracks and a special tool that some guy invented where it helps you pull out one towel at a time. So be sure you check that out. Now the final thing to consider right behind me is my 2008 Corvette. I use this baby on the track. It is fun. If you want to see some of that footage, go check it out. But I had the steering pump and the steering rack replaced and I parked it in my garage for about three weeks, took it for a spin and then one day I parked out in the driveway and I saw a huge puddle under the car. Now the power steering pump and the steering rack were faulty and were leaking everywhere. My car was parked in the garage for two weeks and I couldn't actually see the leak because the leak goes between the Swiss tracks. So the only time I noticed was when I parked outside. So just bear in mind, if you do work on cars, yes, everything bad and gross goes in there and you don't see it, so that's perfect. But you could potentially miss some problems because it gets hidden under the Swiss tracks. Now guys, if any of that doesn't make a difference to you, be sure to get some Swiss tracks. Make sure you look at all the different options they have. Links down below that support the channel. If you want to buy from Obsessed Garage, if you want to buy directly from Swiss tracks, use all the links below to get the best deal. But guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you next time.